Howdy, this is Lemmy from Zilla TV, here to talk to you today about Vance and Hines Quiet Baffles. Before we go ahead into this video, I'm going to let you know that I'm wearing gloves not only because I'm creepy, but also because this is an important part of the installation process. We'll get to that in just a bit. You should be looking into a Vance & Hines quiet baffle for your exhaust if you do not like the huge amount of noise that your exhaust is making or perhaps your neighbors can't stand it either. These things are currently being made by Vance & Hines for Vance & Hines exhaust, so keep that in mind. If you have a, another brand of exhaust, these may or may not work for you. Kind of depends. If you need to find a set of these on our website, find the exhaust you have purchased and we will typically have on the product page the quiet baffle, if available, on that page for you to head to uh, and just click the link and you'll get right there. Installation on these things is pretty simple. You're looking at one beard in our BSD, our beard scale of difficulty. Putting one of these in really is not that difficult. It's one fastener. Most of you should be able to get this done in no time flat. So, quiet baffles are great for those of you who, again, do not like the noise. These can also be helpful for those of you who may have picked up a fix-it ticket because you have an exhaust in your bike that is too loud. Jamming one of these in there will definitely kind of tone down the rumble without killing all of your performance. Now, Vance & Hines doesn't make these for every single bike out there. You should keep that in mind. For instance, a set of big radius pipes. Because those things are curved, it would be absolutely impossible to get a baffle in or out of those. So, not every single Vance & Hines exhaust has a quiet baffle option. Quiet baffles, again, are good for just dulling the roar. I think these can be helpful for another class of people, too. Those of you who do long miles. I'm thinking specifically of you touring guys. I know I really like the sound of a loud exhaust, but after 500 miles, it seems to be a lot louder than when I started. It can get on my nerves. More so than that, though, it gets on my wife's nerves because she's riding behind me. She's closer to the exhaust exits. Sometimes what I think is a absolutely pleasant rumble is something that is driving her out of her mind. So again, be considerate. Maybe these would make a nice Valentine's Day gift. Installation is a thing we had talked about earlier. Being a one bearder, these are absolutely cake. Let me explain my gloves. You may see here some of these are wrapped in fiberglass. Now, not every single quiet, quiet baffle is going to have fiberglass packing, but you should know that this stuff is fiberglass, and if you've never worked with it before, it will make you exceedingly itchy. I am super, super, super allergic to this stuff. I do not like it, so I am wearing gloves. I recommend you do the same from the moment you open the box. You should know that there could be fiberglass in there. Don't touch anything unless you really, really want to go ahead and scratch for the better part of eight or ten hours. Installation really is cake. There's one bolt. You can see here on most of these baffles, you're going to see either one or two bolts on your existing muffler. You're going to remove those. Typically, they're held in place with a hex key, or a, I'm sorry, a hex headed fastener. You're going to use a hex key to remove them. Slide those baffles out. Slide the new ones in after you remove the uh, after you remove the fastener. Put the fastener in after you line it up. Bolt everything down, and now enjoy your new, much less loud exhaust. A couple of you, I'm sure, are going to be wondering what this does to the sound. All it does is just dulls the roar a little bit. You're still going to have that awesome Vance and Heinz tone, it's just not going to be at the same decibel level it was before. I'll be perfectly frank, I don't like these things at all. I don't like them because I like really loud exhausts, but I also probably tick my neighbors off a lot more than I ought to. My opinion is not the only game in town. Click below, see what some folks who've already run a set of quiet baffles on their bike think about them. If you have questions I didn't get to, get in touch with one of our gear geeks. See us at RevZilla.com, or you can get us by phone, 877-792-9455. And if you're in a pickle, leave me a comment down below. I'll try and help you myself. I'm Lemmy, I'm out of here.